Dutch Delek, today marks the 32nd commemoration of Tiananmen Square Massacre. To commemorate this tragic event, I'm joined by Mr. Tang Piao, who is an internationally renowned human rights lawyer. Dutch Delek, sir. Dutch Delek. Sir, as we are commemorating the 32nd commemoration of a Tiananmen Square Massacre, so I have a question, what exactly happened on 4th June 1989 and how the world should remember this unforgettable event? Yeah, um, in 1989, uh, 32 years ago, uh, millions of Chinese students and, uh, uh, and citizens um, took to the street um, protesting against uh, uh, corruption and demanding um, um, political um, democratization. And, and then um, and, and not only in Beijing, um, many, many um, uh, cities uh, in all over China, um, people, uh, people uh, went to the street and, um, and, and joined the, the democracy movement. Uh, but the, the Chinese government, um, uh, under the, the, the order of the leader uh, Deng Xiaoping, uh, decided to crack, um, crack down on the democracy movement. And they used uh, tanks and the machine guns to, uh, to uh, the, uh, destroy uh, the whole movement. And, and, um, and, and then uh, that's the, the shocking Tiananmen massacre. Um, we... Uh, uh, even today, uh, we don't know the exact number of the uh, of the killed, um, but um, um, but uh, uh, must be uh, thousands, uh, e even uh, even um, uh, ten thousand. So um, so the, the the Tiananmen Square massacre uh, changed the uh, the uh, political uh, scenario uh, not only in China but also um, uh, impacted. Uh, the geo, um, international geopolitics uh, uh, up to 1989. Uh, sir, what were the major demands of uh, students then? Um, at the beginning, uh, they, uh, it was um, um, aroused by the death of um, uh, former uh, General Secretary uh, Hu Yaobang and, uh, and, and people commemorated uh, Hu Yaobang and and they uh, uh, they they gathered together and and then they uh, you know uh, at that time uh, there was uh, inflation and rampant uh, corruption so people were uh, dissatisfied with the uh, the corruption and the inflation uh, and and then uh, and then uh, the students demand uh, political reform and they demand a dialogue with the the, the top leaders. Um, but uh, the, the Chinese Communist Party um, didn't want an um, a equal, meaningful uh, dialogue with the students and the protesters. Uh, and, and then uh, later, um, students and, and, and you know, um, many, uh, many people, including uh, the, uh, the, the people working for the government, uh, joined the democracy movement and they want uh, uh, um, a, a political uh, openness. Uh, they, want, uh, they want more uh, human rights and freedom. Um, and, um, but uh, the, uh, uh, Deng Xiaoping and the communist leaders uh, didn't, didn't um, want to uh, give give in, um, and then they uh, they decided to um, to to massacre the Chinese people. So my last question is: Why is Chinese government so fearful of Tiananmen Square massacre vigil? Because recently Hong Kong government issued a notification saying that whosoever participates in Tiananmen Square massacre vigil may face up to five years in jail and one year in jail if whosoever promotes it. Why is Chinese government so fearful of Tiananmen Square massacre vigil? Because the Chinese Communist Party uh, had killed um, thousands of um, uh, peaceful protesters and the students uh, in uh, 1989. And, and that's um, that significantly uh, damaged their uh, political legitimacy. And that's so brutal and, and that's a shock 
to uh, the Chinese people and to the whole world. Um, so uh, the Chinese government uh, doesn't want people uh, to uh, to talk about this, to commemorate this, uh, to uh, research on this. Um, and and uh, in, in Hong Kong, uh, every June 4th, uh, millions of, not the uh, hundreds of thousands of people um, went to uh, the uh, Victoria Park uh, to, um, to commemorate the Tiananmen uh, Massacre. Uh, and that has been uh, part of uh, Hong Kong history and Hong Kong uh, memory. And, and Hong Kong is um, a special administrative region and, and Hong Kong people um, usually uh, enjoy uh, free speech and the civil society. And, and, um, and that part of uh, you know, the, 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 uh, the Victoria Park uh, visual uh, every year um, you know, can, um, has been uh, an important, um, important part of the uh, uh, Tiananmen, uh, Tiananmen massacre uh, history, and and and, um, and and people won't forget uh, the uh, this this tragedy. Um, so uh, so the the Chinese, if the Chinese government uh, wants to control uh, history, want to control uh, people's memory, uh, they'll. Uh, crack down on the, uh, the the visual in Hong Kong. If they can, they they, they want to eliminate the his the the, the memory uh, from from everyone. And you know, if, um, even in other countries, in in, in Western countries, uh, the the United French Work Department and other uh, other um, the communist parties in, uh, influence operations. Um, and try their best to uh, eliminate history. I would like to thank you so much for joining Tibet TV's weekly analysis. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome.